In this video, we're going to talk about which keys are which on the piano and how a piano works. If you're just first starting out, the first thing you wanna do is familiarize yourself with the keys and know them well enough to be able to go right to a C when I say C and go right to a G automatically and not even have to think about it. Flashcards are a great way to do that, but you can also do the exercise I'm going to teach you here. We're going to start on an A. You will see a group of three keys grouped together. The first thing I want you to do is look at your keyboard or piano and identify all of the groups of three. Take a look at the piano. You'll see groups of two keys, two black keys, and groups of three black keys, and that will just alternate throughout the whole piano. Now, a lot of piano teachers will start you on middle C, and that's a good note to start on. But I think that the way that makes sense, especially for beginners or very young uh, pianists, you know, children that are starting, is to start with A. So how do we find A? What we do is we find a group of three keys. Count one, two, three. Your A is going to be between the second and the third black key. So if you have a keyboard or a piano, pick out your A's. So look at your black keys again, one, two, three black keys, look between two and three, and that white key is A. How a piano works is that it goes A, if you're, if you're going on just white keys for now, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it starts over, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So let's start over, pick out the lowest A that you have on the piano or keyboard that you're using. So find your three black keys, and between the second and third black keys, you'll see your A. Let's, let's name them together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. 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 If you want to do the same fingers that I'm doing, what I'm doing is going thumb on A, finger two or pointer finger on B, finger three on C, and then you cross under with finger one or your thumb for D, finger two or pointer finger on E, finger three on F or middle finger on F, finger four or ring finger on G, and then you're gonna cross over your thumb on, on A. So keep doing that until you say the letter B and instantly your eyes and your mind go to that letter. Just keep practicing and keep going through. Remember that your D is going to be right in the middle, right between the two black keys. So this is your D. With younger students and even some older students that are just learning their keys, we call that dog note D because the two black keys look like dog ears and the key kind of looks like the dog nose and face. So your dog note D is right between those two keys. So pick those out. One of the most important things that I can recommend as you start playing the piano as a beginner is that you call out the the names of the keys as you are as you are playing them. And that goes for starting to learn chords. Whatever you're doing in practice, it's very, very useful to make that connection so that that connection then becomes automatic and you don't even have to use any mental energy to find notes on your piano. So I hope this was helpful. Keep practicing. And you're going to know your names of your notes in no time.